Hello, mysterious person behind the screen. A uh, little secret of mine, and a very bad confession from a Doctor Who fan. I've never seen the Peter Cushing films. Um, it's not that I have gone out of my way to not see them, it's just they've never really um, come my way, which is, which is surprising because they're always on bank holidays and things like that. It's, it's, they're, they're films that I, I think I've seen because I've just caught little bits of them over the years, but I've never sat through them all the way through. Uh, enter Studio Canal with this gorgeous looking 4K uh, set of the first film and a similar looking 4K set is coming out for the second film next month. Um, there was a steel book of this which looked really nice but I just thought well uh, this just looks really nice, it's a really nice collector set. I'm going to go for the all out collector's edition fancy option. Um, the steelbook did look nice, but I, I, can, I prefer the artwork on this to be honest as well. Um, so, this is a stacked set. This is a Studio Canal always puts so much work into their collector's editions. I'm thinking of the Flash Gordon one. They're a fantastic boutique label, and um, the fact that they've got hold of the Cushing films is, is fantastic for us because it means we're in for a complete treat with how they're presented. Um, they've gone back for, to the original camera negative for these restorations. They haven't just uh, scanned an old print or, uh, or an interpositive or stuff like that, you go right back to the very source, the original camera negative, and I believe it's been graded for Dolby Vision, it's definitely been graded for HDR10, so these should look absolutely fantastic, I know how colourful they are, even though I've not seen them, um, so yeah, it should be really good, so this collector's edition includes a limited edition coin, an A4 page booklet, 32 page Titan mini book, 4 art cards, and 2 posters, so if you want to look on the back there, you can, and just have a read of that. Um, some cool special features on this. There's a brand new documentary called The Dalek Legacy, um, restoring Doctor Who in 4K as well. That should be really cool. Um, yeah, really cool stuff. Um, I believe it's great for Dolby Vision. I guess we'll find out. Um, but it should be definitely HDR10. So let's unbox this bad boy and uh, see what it looks like outside of the wrapper. Yeah, this looks absolutely fantastic. I love the shine effect to it. You catch it in the right light, it's just it's so striking. Um, this is a fantastic looking set, Joyously, joyous, colourful and achingly nostalgic, says Mark Gattis, which is a really cool quote there. Um, yeah, I don't know why I never watched these films, it, it, as a kid it was definitely the old thing of, oh, well, they're not canon so they don't count. Um, as I got older I really wanted to see them, it's just they've, uh, they've passed me by, um, you'll notice the text is uh, nice and shiny there against the matte uh, red, really classy looking. Um, this appears to be a J card, so we'll take the uh, seller tape off, which is always fun with these sets. I'm glad it's not glued, because um, that could be bad. So we'll take that off. They're beyond reason. They only wish to conquer. They wish only to conquer. It's a really classy looking set. Look at that. It's fantastic. So I don't really know what to expect going into this. So let's have a let's just uh, take this out of the thing. If it will go. Come on, there we go. Um, how interesting. This is most interesting. Lovely, hard, sturdy, rigid box. And we're presented with Doctor Who and the Daleks, a collectible mini book. Let's have a look at this first. Um, so this is... Oh! Ah, Exotus from Doctor Who and the Daleks, the official story of the films by John Walsh. That's cool. So this is a, a little excerpt from a full-on making of book that uh, that you can buy separately. That's quite cool. Really nice little photos here. Um, kind of goes into the history of Dalek Mania and stuff like that. I mean, of course, this was the first time Doctor Who was seen in colour. And obviously it wasn't canonical, it wasn't the TV show. But it's uh, pretty impressive. So yeah, definitely look out for that book. Um, I see the next thing we're presented with is the Collector's Edition booklet. So let's have a look at this as well. This is a pretty damn. This is a pretty thick book. Um, again, this is boutique labels like Arrow Video and Studio Canal and Second Sight. These uh, these boutique companies always provide these lovely books full of essays and information about the cast and crew, and this is no exception. Really, really nice stuff. You also get two separate posters, not double-sided, which is cool. Um, and the first one, now this is uh, a nostalgic thing that I used to stare at for ages as a kid in the Doctor Who exhibition in Cardiff. This is the original theatrical poster, which is really cool. I, yeah, they had this up in the Cardiff exhibition when I was a kid. I used to stare at this. I used to be fascinated by like the production line of the Daleks. Um, thought it was so cool. Now on the big screen in colour. 
Really, really cool. Love that. And then the second poster is of the new artwork that you see on the cover of this set. Which again looks really, really nice. Uh, regenerated in 4K and back in cinemas. These are really, they're really high quality as well. High quality prints. That's really cool. Then on to the main event, the films themselves, in this digibook, which I was not expecting. I was expecting a uh, regular Amore 4K case in there. They haven't done that. They've put it in a really nice looking digibook with the discs there. So we have the the 4K disc here and the Blu-ray disc there. And I believe, take the disc site. Cool photos of the cast. Very much reminds me of the 60s Batman series box set which I reviewed many years ago on my channel when I was but a squeaky voiced 14 uh, year old. So that's really cool. Yeah, I really thought they were just going to put a um, regular 4K case in here. That's really cool they put it in a uh, lovely little digi pack, digi pack like that. Really nice. But wait, there's even more because we get a set of four art cards which I will show you now. Mind the paper cuts. Um, so that's really cool. Nice uh, production stills, got some thals, seasoning the Daleks, small Daleks. So yeah, not a huge amount of art cards, but pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, they remind me a lot of lobby cards. Look really nice, cool stuff. And then finally, at the very back of this gorgeous set, you'll find this, which is a collectible coin. And it comes in this plastic case to pre prevent it from getting damaged. Um, so it's, you can, I think you can take this out, or maybe not. Okay, I'm sure you can, but I think for the purposes of this, we'll just, of this, we'll just leave it in. So we've got the Daleks on one side, which is really nice, and is that Aladon, I think? It's one of the Thals, anyway, on this side. Bit of a strange thing, they didn't put Peter Cushing as Doctor Who on there. But nevertheless, it's still very cool. Um, really nice little feature, little extra there. Um, nice display piece that goes along with this set, which in itself is a fantastic display piece. It's quite amazing that they've managed to fit everything in here, because it's only just, look, this is quite a uh, struggle to keep this in. I can now see why it wasn't quite staying up before, because um, it's quite a stacked set, and they've squeezed it into a fairly small box for the amount of stuff that's in here. But nevertheless, what a fantastic release. This is so much nicer than I thought it'd be. I mean, I knew it'd be nice because it's Studio Canal Collector's Edition, right? So I knew it'd be it'd be really good. But just the shine on the on the cover and the digi back inside instead of a case. Um, the posters look great. The coin, the art cards. I'm so glad I sprang for the Collector's Edition now because part of me was thinking, because this is pricey, this is not cheap. Um, and I was kind of thinking, ah, come on, I've never seen the films. It's a blind buy. Should I just get the steelbooks and be done with it? Um, but, yeah, I'm really happy. I'm really, really happy with my uh, choice here because this is a fantastic display piece. Will look really nice with the second film when it comes out as well. So I'm really pleased with this. Um, are you picking up the 4K releases of uh, the Pizza Cushing Dalek movies from Studio Canal? Um, I'm sure they've done a fantastic job on the restoration. I read a uh, feature about it in Doctor Who magazine and it, it seemed that the, uh, the amount of love and care that's gone into these uh, it's fantastic. They are being re-released in cinemas, of course. Um, I don't know if my local is getting that, so I'll probably just stick to the 4K disc. But um, but yeah, looking forward to finally sitting down and watching this film. So uh, yeah, it should be fun. Alrighty, so like, comment, subscribe if you're getting this set as well, and if you've enjoyed my unboxing. Um, just previously to this, I did unbox the, released on the same day, the Collection Season 22 box set, which was really nice. So go check that out as well. And I will see you in my next one. Take care now.